perfect. Someone said perfect. We're going off that. We did it. We did it. We made it. Yeah. But I'm going to sing a tune I wrote the other day. Well, no, I released the other day, shall I say. Promotion, baby. Uh, it's called The Game. It goes a little bit like this. Gonna slow down, try and match my face. But I hold to you now, balancing myself out again with this face. Watching them go slowly, always gonna hit me, keep my eye on the line. But I can see my enemy, always get the best me, I can keep it hurt at the time. Can I have a little bit of love, please, for Ruby J? I wish that you could just hear applause, like, over there. Let's just do our I, own. I need a sound effect that's like... Yeah, we do. One of them, yeah. Hype me up, baby. So, come on, this is the very, very first stream of, of Streamer Manny, and um, my thoughts with this is I just want to make it very collaborative. I want to bring a little bit of entertainment and love to the world from you guys to you guys in this very weird world that we're living in, just to make life a little bit easier, a little bit nicer for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna get a lot of my friends on, a lot of my friends who I think deserve a lot more credit than they're getting musically and who I have no doubt will get all of this credit that's due to them in the future. And this is one of those amazing people here. Oh, legend. Ruby. Thank you, Thank you very much. And, um, we haven't got much of a plan for this. We thought we'd just, oh, hang on. We thought we'd just. <laughs> There's going to be lots of awkward moments like that. I expect them. It's all part of it. It's all part of it. You deserve them, Twitch. <laughs> we thought we'd just... I, I think what I do, actually, we can, um, we can turn this into a little bit of a podcast-style situation. Because mm. what would be really interesting for me, because I actually genuinely want to know this, aside from being live here, um, is what music means to you, how you got into music... And what your future, what you think your future oh, looks I like? like. I know I'm that's Jonathan Ross show. That's three. That's <laughs> three. That's three questions. But first of all, like, yeah, what made you fall in love with music? Like, what was it? Uh, the first time I fell in love with music was I found discovered the Arctic Monkeys for the first time. Uh, I was about thirteen, and um, I was watching all like the live sets, like the festival sets, Tea in the Park, Glastonbury. But like, what was your first Arctic Monkey song you heard? I think it was. 
fluorescent adolescent. Definitely yeah. that album, the banger. second album. Yeah, um, the second album was a banger. And Teddy Picker. Teddy Picker. Picker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and then you were sold, mate. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. were like, I was just, the first time I discovered proper music, you know, like indie music was the first love of mine. Um, and I just went back through all of their stuff and like the early albums and it was just like, fucking hell. Because like, he's such a great songwriter as well. And the way that they capture the audience. When they what do you think? OK, because I'll be interested in what you, what you think about his evolution in terms of... Because they started out quite yeah. a garage band, rough and ready, innit? it? And he's I gone, like it. And he's gone very much... I mean, we all change and we all evolve. He's but he's, 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 I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's think, out there. I think people... I feel like it's different if you're an artist because you can mm. understand you have to experiment. Once you've done about five albums, it's... It's obvious that you're going to try new things, try new styles. And I think they've really evolved nicely and mature. Yeah. And I, I love the last album and the, the album before that. Obviously, for me personally, I think the early albums are the best, what they've ever done. But yeah. I think they've really matured well. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I thought, um, which one was it? AM, PM? AM. The, 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 they... Um, was it AM? Yeah, yeah. What the? The one that they based off Dr. Dre's production. It was like it yeah, was. It was I think it was the AM. fifth album. Yeah, he talks about Dr. Dre. Because yeah, that for me was like but, yeah, that was a banging album. Yeah. That was really good. But I think my first, my first, it, it's got to be it's um, be the first it's got to be the very first one the for me, man. One. Yeah, Just that first track where it's like dang, 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 dang. Oh, the, um, where they, they what the fuck? Yeah. What's the track called? They pan the guitars on it. Is it the view from the afternoon? It might be. Yeah, it's like... It's an absolute track then. Okay, so you you discovered the Arctic Monkeys. I made you fall in love with music. Yeah, that was my first love. And then I just discovered a whole lot more of, like, indie bands and stuff. And then I've discovered soul, Motown. I grew up with reggae because I'm quarter Jamaican and my mum loves Bob Marley. Okay. Um, Erica Badu, stuff like that. Yeah, I discovered because I I love Erica Badu. Yeah, I grew up listening to Erica Badu and then... I rediscovered her when I grew up, and I was like, oh, I don't know the song. I feel like this song's like, I, I know it. And I asked my mum, I was like, do you like Erica Badu? She was like, I used to play it when you were little. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, um, and then I got into jazz, like Nina Simone, and all uh-huh. the classic stuff, I just read in, because yeah. my dad loves it. Have you heard, well. do you like, you know, going even further back, have you heard of, like, Vera Hall? The name rings a bell. This is like, this is even, for, we're talking, yeah. like, further, further back, mm. a lot further back than Nina Simone. It, she did a lot of a cappella, just really blue stuff. Yeah, she's, like, she's who Moby sampled. Oh, Lordy, now trouble so high. Yeah, yeah. She, she was the original. Who's the, who's the woman who performed at the train station? Um, with, with the guitar? Yeah. Uh, Sister Nancy, is it? Yes. Oh, she's yes, a legend. Yes. legend. She's class. Yeah, she's yeah, class. Yeah, yeah blues stuff like that. Big yeah. Mama Thornton, she's a blues artist from like back in the day and she's fucking sick. Like, yeah, that's sick. That's a sick oh, record let me just she does. Scroll down here as well because th- are mm. we getting this live on the chat? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, man. <laughs> Cool. Should we have like intermittent little jammy jams Jam and then jams. and then carry on talking? I don't really know how the formula yet. We're working it out, guys, as we go. Yeah. <laughs> because we've never done this before, so we're just just, we're just working it out. So yeah, let me give you some reverb. through that guys.
Some say John was a Jew, but I said John was a preacher, Lord, and my Bible says so too. I said a roll, I said a roll, I said a roll, yes, I said a roll, 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 Thank you, thank you, kind sir. I wonder what the two on the background are doing. We don't need to know about that. Don't need to know. What are you doing? Oh, they're actually eating. I thought you were doing a bit Yeah, they're just, they're just munching. What did you get, mate? Something to go. Are you, are you got a, uh, no, but what's the signing, mate? That's the most important thing I want to know. BLT. Oh, we got a BLT, mate. Top choice. We got a classic. Thanks for the water, brother. What's your sandwich choice? You know what? It's a very, it's a very difficult, deep question for me. It, uh, is, it is a hard, no, it is a genuine hard It changes, question. you know. No, it, pro it also depends where you go. If I if I was just going to go, I would probably go for a BLT. It's a bit of a classic. Yeah. It's safe. It is safe. Chat, chat. What what would you go for if you're going to go for a meal deal? Chicken what sandwich? sandwich? Let me know your your sandwich choice. But this is this a thing. If I was going to go to like a proper bougie deli, yeah. I'd go for and this this makes me sound a bit like a middle class wanker, but I'd go, go for a bake, bacon brie and cranberry. Oh. Uh, Who are you? Changed man. Yeah. Oh. On a yeah. Well, it could be on the panini if I'm feeling a bit saucy, but it could be on. Um, I don't know, man. If it's budget, Tesco. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a white bread roll. I might have like a whole grain. Sour, sourdough. Sourdough is pretty good as well. Sourdough is the best. I do like a sandwich. Mm, not from Marsley. What are we saying? What are we saying, chat? What's what's the what's the top sandwich? Is this coming in real time? I'm just trying to sort this all out. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I feel like we're not. Min Hang on. Wait, have we got? I think. Sorry, guys. I'm still I'm still learning this Twitch, is all very right? New. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to like see the comments in real time, but I don't know if they're. Um... Chicken, bacon, and mayo. See. Big chicken. Oh, so now so we're we're coming in with a sandwich suggestion. Avocado bagel, man. Wow, that's very. Good. You know what? Chicken and stuffing. I do like a Christmas that's sandwich. What I said. Yeah. Chicken and yeah, I do like a Christmas sandwich. Chicken, bacon, and mayo is a good one. That's pretty shaky. Can't go wrong. Red Leicester cheese. Fucking hell, that's a bit of a controversial one. Yeah, that's a bit... <laughs> that's, that's oh. mm. Yeah, OK. Oh, someone said egg salad. Nah. Yeah, nah. I agree. No, that's, there's always one, isn't there? And then the egg salad. Cheese from that's boring. Right, so, coming away from the world of sandwiches... Um, oh, hang on. Oh, Coming away from the world of the sandwich. Um, so, you, you, you found these artists that inspired you and uh, 
um, I guess, so did you feel, feel compelled to create? What was it about finding these, these artists that you loved? I mean, do you want to get I into music? I just craved that feeling that, you know, when, when they had like the audience in the palm of their hands and they had them singing every single lyric back to mm. them. It must be such a fucking incredible feeling. And I was like, I want to write, because he, he, he's, he's such a good songwriter and it made me jealous. <laughs> I was like, I wish I could write like that. So I picked okay. guitar first. Um, learned how to, you know, get the standard chords and all that, and then started writing my own tunes. Didn't know what the fuck to write about, though. That's a hard thing when you start songwriting, I feel. You got, you kind of like, where do I start? And I, was I, I, think, I think everybody goes for the default. They go for this default thing, and it's something that I tried to break away from early on. But they go for the default of being like, all right, so what does a songwriter do? They write love songs. And you might have never been in love. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or you might, or you, or, 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 or it's just not relevant to you at that point, but yeah. I feel like it's the first go to as a songwriter. But yeah. I remember being quite young. And um, I think because I came to it not from a place of songwriting, but production, I, all the songs that I write at the first were just taking the piss out of my mates. One of the first songs I ever wrote was about how my mate Chris was a massive lightweight. He would get really, really drunk really easily. So, so I, think, I think that helped because I was like, I came to it from a place of like, I'm, not, I'm almost taking the piss out of myself because I was like, I think when you go into it and you go with, into it with a like, this has to be good, this has to be good. Yeah. You can be so self-deprecating, but if you go into it in the place of it, it's almost like a parody of yourself. Mm. And I think, yeah, I kind of like hold on, held on to that a little yeah. bit as I, as I grew I, up I as found well. That, especially when I, because I was in school at the time when I first started writing, I was 13. I didn't have much life experience, so I thought, well, pull that one out. So I just, I had so many different stories around me mm. in school. And yeah. it's different people's shit going on and you know, all, everyone's always talking about each other. And I just remember listening on people's conversations and just like writing a story about that and interpreting it. Like there's a set song I wrote when I was about 14 it's called Game of FIFA and it was about this girl that I knew was actually one of my best mates at the time. She didn't know the songs about her and it's yeah. going to stay that way. Um, about this guy who was like, oh, what was it, that he um, would date her. Um, if they, if his mate lost the game to FIFA, then he'd have to date this girl in, in the year, which was the drama. Right. And I wrote a song about it. Um, yeah, I don't think they know it's about them. Do you remember the song? <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing it. You're not gonna no, play no, no, no. it. No, no, no. It's a shit. Too song. early. It's oh, a shit. Come song. On. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. I'm gonna film spot. It's old school. It's One old of them school. ones where you're like. <sighs> yeah, I've got some. Yeah, I don't it's know if I can even remember the first, the first riff I ever wrote. I remember that. One of this. <laughs> And then, and then it was about, hang on, I, I can actually remember, I think I actually remember those. And it was about, it was about what happened when you <laughs> smoke weed after drinking. And it was called, it was called Black Swirls. And it was like, I was. Another, when, another rise experiment created by you. The world from disaster by this using the truth. It was really bad. It was punk, mate. Yeah, it was, was punk. Song. It's sick though. I love that riff. That was cool. Um, yeah. I wasn't as cool as that back in the day. Oh, I wasn't. Cool. I wasn't very cool at all. Lies. I was Lies. trying to find my way in this little weird world that we live in. <laughs> should we do some more jamming. Yeah, man. What should we do? What's, you got any no. recommended? This isn't B minor. Um. It's like it's 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 welcome to jam rock mixed with um, um, walking on the moon mixed with you can you can put um you can put a uh, uh, black street into it as well. Which one? Um, no diggity as well. Yeah. Let's try it. Welcome. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Is my guitar about you? It is. It's the intro that I love doing to this song. Oh. Sorry guys. This is the song by the way. Yeah, this is how it goes. This is how it goes. <laughs> yeah, it goes like this. Hot in the street. They call it my
You're about to, unless you carry guns and lie to. You. I never actually, you know what? I bust that song so many times, and I've never bothered to actually learn the real words. I think it's time. No, I do that as well. It's you time know, I you actually learn the words. Your own words. Yeah. Anyway, giant <laughs> steps are what we take. <laughs> Walking on the moon, and I hope my legs don't break. Walking on the moon, and we could be together. The a walking on the moon, we could walk forever. Walking on, walking on. Actually, do Ruby at some point? Can you do that whipping post cover? I fucking love that. Yeah. I actually really like that one. Yeah, oh, let me just... And then, okay, so we flat. <laughs> it's just like chat for a bit, jam for a bit. Yeah. It is the way. Mm. Chat also as well. If you want to get involved into this, 
if you've got any questions that you want to shoot us, oh, yeah. then literally just shoot us questions. If, if you guys want to know anything, yeah. um, that's what this time is for. It's for us, but it's also for you. I'm an open book. So if you, if you guys want to know anything, you guys want to shoot us any questions. Um, my, my goal is the more we do this, the more comfortable we get, the more comfortable like it just becomes, so it just becomes easy because I kind of want to do this more and I want to get better at it. And if you guys let me know what would make this better, then I'd love to hear it. Do you know that she, the place? Someone says, when are we getting the hot tub stream? So I, <laughs> Sorry, you're going to have to explain that one. So I, I, found, I found out today on Discord, yeah, that there's something on Twitch called a, um, a hot tub stream. What where, does that involve? Is there a hot tub? What do you think it involves? I mean, I mean, it's pretty obvious. There's, there's a hot tub, and then basically, if you get tipped a certain amount, you either... Um, what did I see? It sounds really dodgy. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's, waiting it's, for it to get normal. But yeah, it's, yeah. It's, no, it doesn't get normal. It doesn't yeah, get any more normal. It never does. So, like, if you get a certain amount of uh, tips, mm, I think they're called bits. If you get enough bits, <laughs> then uh, you, you, um, you do something, like, you... The ones that I saw was like there was it was like a dance or it was twenty twenty squats which is oh, I'm sure really? I'm sure I'm sure the squats is just because people are very concerned about their level of physical oh. fitness and it's nothing else yeah, maybe yeah so basically guys I haven't got a hot tub I've got a crap bath you could use that but I'm not I'm not sure like I'm ready to objectify myself to that point yet oh, I think you are. but maybe maybe in a few maybe in a, when it all goes wrong which it inevitably will yeah. you'll find me in a bath. Twerking for bits. <laughs> bits for tits. Bits right. For tits. What what else what else have we got? Someone keeps asking about frogs. It's really, really Who would I like okay, okay. There's a good question here. Oh. Who who would we like to collaborate with, dead or alive? Um I've got, I know I know my alive one. Actually I've got two alive ones. <sighs> my, oh, my, my my first, my first one. Every, people who followed me for a while probably know that I'm a massive, massive fanboy um, and a massive simp for John Prashanti. I fucking love him of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like he's the reason that I started playing guitar. Um, and I, I just, I'd, 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 I, I fucking love him, man. Like, and I would love to. Yeah, I don't know. He just inspired. And it's even less so. I mean, obviously the musical process will be really fun, but I just him as a person I found really inspiring. And I will stop simping. The other one's probably. Uh, it's probably be Eminem. I know it's quite an obvious one, but uh, yeah, it, it, but again, like Eminem for me, like I feel like if you collaborate with him, for, for, it's like I don't know, just just purely for like old, what the old Eminem records meant to me, like the Marshall Mathers LP and the Slim Shady LP. Growing up, they were big reasons that I fell in love with rap music and got into rap music. And him or Kendrick, I think would be oh, fucking that sick. Music. That's funny you mentioned Eminem. Yeah. We were watching Eight Mile before we came. Oh yeah. What a film. Class. The, the shook ones at the start. Yeah, yeah. class. <laughs> class. Uh, what about dead? Dead, yeah. Um, dead's a bit of a dead's a bit of a tricky one. I think. You got to think about. There's, ways. there's, okay, for for me, yeah, there's, there's people that I feel like almost like transcend being a human being. Mm. Um, and for me, there are artists like Bob Marley or yeah. Jimi Hendrix. Oh, Jimi. Um, a good and um. I think for me, like, but I think, I don't know, but I don't know how, how the fuck I'd sound on a track with Bob Marley. Do you know what I mean? I mean, like, I think it's not pretty funny. I really, I really like Jeff Buckley as well. Oh, um, but I think, I feel like these are artists that in their own right just deserve the spotlight. That's what I always think. When you people know what I mean? That question, I'm like, yeah, yeah. But come on. Mm. Um, I'd say, like, if you're going to say dead, you got to think of, like, the, the fucking, the best ones, like Otis Redden. Mm. Is he dead now? He's got to be dead now. Yeah. yeah. Ray Charles. Mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder's alive. But Stevie Wonder. Yeah. That's a good shout. Uh, oh my God, I could go on forever. <laughs> alive. It's got to be Paolo. Paolo Nettini. Because he's just generally one of my favourite artists. Yeah, Paolo would be a sick one. Mm. I, think I've, I actually wanted to do one... Um, with Tash Oltana for a while because we both come from like a similar background yeah. of busking. Yeah. And I think that would be quite an interesting collaboration. I so think like, also alive as well, there's a lot of like local artists like I don't know if you know Ocean Wisdom, he's like a Brighton rapper. Oh yeah, after Ocean Shake Wisdom's Rap. sick. We were meant to collaborate actually. And then um yeah, like more sort of less lesser known artists. There mm -hmm. there are some that I fucking love as well. There's I don't know if you've heard like Still Woozy. Oh, still woozy, yeah. That, that's that tune that's really it's good. It's got like neo soul sort of mm. vibes. 
Yeah, yeah there's quite there's quite a few. Right, what other? Like, I'm gonna see if there's any other questions. Right, do I have any plans for touring? Um, I'm I'm moving to Canada in January and and to pursue better health because um, I, I people who've followed, been following me for a while also probably know that I've, I suffer quite badly with like autoimmune illnesses, which is where my immune system isn't behaving as it should, so it sort of attacks my own body. So I'm moving out to Canada in January for three months to try and pursue better health, basically. And um, if that goes well, then I'm almost certainly will be touring, like try and stop me, because that, that's kind of something that stopped me from doing big tours for the past 10 years. The reason I've never gone on a big tour is sim because of that. You deserve a big blowout. I would love to do a big tour, yeah. yeah. So if come like March or summer this year, I'm in a much better place after seeing that doctor, because yeah, I've shelling out quite a bit on doing that, then fucking right I'll be doing a big tour. Oh, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be good. You should do a big fuck off run. Not as in like, fuck you, as in like, yeah, scale-wise. Yeah. <laughs> right, someone's saying, are there any genres you haven't tried before that, you, that I wish to explore? Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, probably something like quite a system of a downy. Like, I used to be well into my, um, into my metal, a new metal, and like system of a down, rage against the machine, um, bands like that, because I haven't really like, something fucking heavy basically because i've been experimenting with a lot of like hip-hop and ballads and and songs and even like dabbled with reggae and rock music but i would actually quite like to make something quite quite heavy full-on screamo shit busking in france would you busk in france i think you go down yeah I'd, I'd like to go busking in france i'd like to i'd like to go busking all, all over the place to be honest again that's something that kind of like i'd like to pursue more than my health when my health kind of gets back on track a little bit Love France. Do you know any French? No, which is a shame because I... No, I know la poubelle. What's that? It means bin. Bin? What a random piece of... La poubelle. And what else do I know? Uh, la... Uh, où est la bibliothèque? <laughs> What's that? That's where, is the, that that's where is the library. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Biblio... Biblio... Bibliothèque. I like that. Bon, biblioteca. I only know, know. je m'appelle. <laughs> and I did Je m'appelle. Uh, bonjour. Actually, I know more French than I thought. You do. I know. I know Spanish as well. Uh, no toca, no toca los árbol, por favor. Ooh. I think means don't touch the frog, please. I mean, you might need. To no toca, them. no toca los rana. No rana. Árbol means tree. That means don't touch the tree, please. Yep, that's an essential piece of knowledge you need yeah. to know. You need to know what to tell people not to touch the tree in Spanish. Nariz, boca. Uh, ah, oh, fucking. <laughs> Wait, nariz, boca. La eye. Uh, manos, brazos. Uh, pierna, piernas, piernacitos for little legs and bracitos, little arms. Yeah, that's me. Now you saw it. What, bracitos? Yeah. Bracitos. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Sounds cool. I like it. Roll now, the tongue. Now you're sorted if you want to go. Right. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. Yeah, man. I'm getting Spain today. No toca la arbol, por favor. Yeah, exactly. Don't touch the frog, please. Hands off the frog. Oh, do you want to do that whipping pose tune? Oh, yeah. That's a fucking banger. Yeah, uh, this is a song by the Allman Brothers. Old school. Do you know the tune? The original tune? Guys, can we have a lot of love for Ruby J, please, in the chat as well? Please, 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 yeah. if you're enjoying this, give her lots of love. Thank you. Yeah, this one's the whipping pose. Put on your elbow. Those days I'm 
saw you do that live I was just like yeah, yes yeah, that was this is a banger but I love that I love those old sort of like bluesy like, oh yeah blues is there's just like so much feeling in them yeah so yeah so man flavor. yeah all right so talk me through because I'm always interested in hearing people's different um processes mm. with songwriting like, what, like how you come to it like what how would you approach it so uh sometimes most times it's normal oh, I'm just gonna turn this echo off okay cool <laughs> Get rid of the reverb. There we go. Uh, yeah, sometimes, well, most of the time, it's normally comes from like a groove I have okay. on the guitar, like some chords that I just jam. I normally have to find a groove first before yeah. I can get any lyrics. Um, I find that the melodies are just like mumbles and fucking, you know, melodies, and then fit some words in, and then it's weird. Like, and then I'll decide what it's about. Yeah, than, you I know, get you. Wait, so your music first. Yeah, that's me. The music sets the tone or the of emotion the of the piece. Yeah, yeah. Then you find a melody, and then mm -hmm. after the melody, you find words. the words to fit the melody. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. And then, or sometimes it'll be different, like I'll have lyrics in my head, yeah. and then I'll find some chords to fit it, or I'll have an idea of the groove in my head. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. I never mm. normally have the same process. It's yeah. quite messy, if I'm being honest. If I'm if works. I'm writing on the guitar, I'll do the same thing, you know. Like, so mm. I'll I'll come up with a riff, and then, and and I guess it it it's all usually dictated by my mood at the time, like what I'm yeah. going to play, yeah, that's and that's why I try and play on different days. Like if I'm feeling fucking great after a night out or a party yeah, or something, that's normally when you get or, or, or or when I'm feeling really really low and really down, and I just try and like. Put it in yeah, just try try and like express that as best as I can without yeah. trying to think too much about what comes out and, and not say anything's wrong and not say anything's right. Yeah, so that's the thing though with songwriting. There's no mm. rules. You can do what the fuck you want. And then yeah, and then I think, what do I do? I think I do the same thing as you. You know, I just mumble gibberish. Yeah, because it's. And then sometimes the words just like fall out of yeah, the sky. Yeah. yeah. And they, and they just, could just, and, and 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 then it kind of almost like sets the tone. And and yeah. I think what I try and do, and I normally do this, is like I'll write I'll write a lot. And then, and almost like train of thought, try not to be judge, too judgmental of it. I'll just be like streaming down what I've written. And then once I found the concept that, that kind of like, because it, it, I like to find a, because once I found a concept, I find that the lyrics come a lot easier and, and you can be more metaphorical. Um, and I'll get rid of everything that I've written. <laughs> and then I yeah, start, I start again, but uh, and, and then with the concept the as, the, as the seed, yeah. yeah. And um, sometimes like, I don't know, how long does it normally take you to write a song or is it different every time? Uh, Different, but most of the time, I'd say if I can't get it down within like 15 minutes, then I don't want it because it's not. Fresh. Oh, you're one of them. Yeah, I'm one of them. Yeah. I don't like to be stuck on a song for a day because then I'll come back and I'll be like, oh, I don't so, like so it there was there was this songwriter that I knew that was like that. So he was like, if he couldn't finish a song within a certain time frame, yeah, he would just fucking get rid of it. Yes. 
Do you do that? Just, yeah, because... That's mad. Yeah, because if I come back to the next day and I'm like, yeah. oh, I need to finish the song, I'll be like, oh, I've lost all the grief and the feeling for it now. I'm like, this is... What is this? You oh. know, it's weird. Yeah. Um, so I don't see, like leaving them unfinished because then I know I never, ever finish it. So yeah. I have to get it done within, like... See, I'm quite different minutes. in that respect. I've got, like, my heart... You'll see, I've got... Hang on, I'm going to show Shitload you. Shitload of hard drives. I'll move these little guys out of the way, but I've, I've, these are my cats. You know, I've got many, many hard drives. <laughs> but basically, like... Oh, hang on, someone's at the door. Sh shall I let, okay, I'll let someone else deal with that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically, like, I'll, I've got so many. I've probably got, I'm not even joking, there's probably about a thousand or two thousand unfinished songs on there. Because sometimes I just yeah, lose, I just lose my passion for them or patience or I'm in such a different yeah. headspace that I just leave that, them. That's the thing, you've got to be in the right headspace, mm. in the right mood to finish a song. I've got so much unfinished finished stuff, like so much. Finished business. Yeah, that's why I released the demo. I wouldn't, all the albums, I, I don't know if it's like a self defeating thing of being like too much of a perfectionist, but you know, with the demos albums I put down over lockdown, mm. well, none of those songs were ever going to come out. That was all this like stuff. Yeah, and the reason they were called demos is because it, well. you know, it's, it's, it's Matt, and I guess you're, because we're all our own sort of worst enemy in that respect. Yeah. I've become very self critical of what I've written. Oh, everyone. Well, maybe not even yeah. self critical when I'm mixing it. It may be that I've mixed it so many times, so, and I've spent so long amazing. listening to it, I'm yeah. just like. You get I'm yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. bored of it. Yeah, it's funny because when I release a song as well, I was just about to say the same. I release it, yeah. And I'm not even excited. And I'm like, like coming out. but it just feels it's so new for everybody else. Yeah, then. It's but old. then, but then when I get the feedback from people, then I start falling in love with it. Yeah, again. that's the thing. You when get I hear people like people like, oh yeah, I really fucking love this song. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, actually that is quite a good song. Yeah, oh, someone's still, someone I'll be back in a second. The door. I'm gonna talk to the chat. This is my first time on Twitch. Thanks for welcoming me, by the way. I'm gonna talk to everyone. Oh, hello. At the um, back. Oh, that was not a long chat. I'll speak to you soon, it's fine. Nah, I keep trying, <laughs> Welcome back. I right. thought it was you. I thought it was you. The boys are back. We're back. The back boys are back in town. The boys are back. Right, should we jump? Or are you still asking really cool um, questions? Um, what, what, yeah, let's see what other questions we got. Yeah. What do I, oh, that's an interesting one. What do I think about the Luigi seashells meme? I, mate, I fucking love it because <laughs> Mate, that how you don't understand how much traction that brought. I've never seen I, that. I never, I never really fully understood the meme. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna pretend to, that I understood what the fuck it meant because Luigi was explaining. But that, I think that's that's the beauty of memes, isn't it? But like, I, I, I it brought so many people to my work, and um, yeah. So I've got, I've got nothing but love for Luigi and <laughs> the entire Mario universe for that fact, and I do love a bit of Mario Kart as well. What do I want for Christmas? Um, Ooh, that's a good question. I don't even know. Um, uh, this this Twitch stream to go really really well. Let's do that. Yeah yeah, build build it up, build up the community, man. And um, I don't know, man. I like I, I I'm not very good. Apparently, I'm one of the worst people to buy a present for because I I just like I don't know. Yeah, no, I never know the like, answer to that question. You know. You're not the type. I am. Mm. Actually, I like Probably. '90s vintage gear, like. Yeah. Oh, anything that's like quite a '90s vintage sports tracksuit-looking thing, I will eat that up. Retro. Retro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Retro. Someone said you like Guns N' Roses, of course. All right, bam, bam, bam. I found you through that meme. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people found me through that meme. People feel like I'm gonna be bitter about that, or like, or people like no, me feel I'm like frustrated it. because I didn't bring people to my music in my own right. But I fucking. Whatever, man. If if it brings people to my music and people like my music, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gassed. Like I'm really happy that it happened, to be honest. Like, and I generally saw like such a massive uptake in people listening to my music because of this thing. I remember waking up one day and being like, "What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Why has it got so many streams?" I was like, oh, "Maybe Spotify didn't." I was like, "No, Spotify didn't." Have. And then then this fucking meme of Luigi, Luigi talking to me. Luigi was on, was on the internet, and I watched it, and I was like, "I don't know what I'm watching, but." Loads of people are watching it. <laughs> that started on that started on Discord as well before I had a Discord. Mm, Discord's yeah. a crazy one. That's how I that's how I found out about Discord. Mm. What, what did it feel like then when, when your very first song yeah. popped? So my, you sat, where were you sat? I remember the very the very the very first song. So if you guys didn't hear that because it's slightly off mic. Um, yeah, man. If you, oh, if you want to come close to the mic every time you ask a question, by the way. But um, you said, what, what did it feel like the very first song that popped? And that was, it was actually Blind Eyed um, that I did with Sam. 
And that that's was, how I discovered you. Yeah, that, that was the first song, of, song, it was like the collaboration I did with Sam. I think what it was beautiful, man, and what was really nice about that experience is because I shared that with Sam, it was like we both, like, we, we both gained so much of a following from that and it both took off so much and essentially set us both up for a fucking really good career. Sam was, Sam was a bit, bit ahead of me back then with his fan base, to be fair. But um, I remember that, like, because, like, you know, he's one, one of my best mates and having, like, having that, sharing that experience with somebody, I think made it even more special for me. Yeah. It made it a lot less scary. Yeah, well, it, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it wasn't really the scariness. It was more just, like, look, people walking down the street and recognising, be like, Ren, love the tune. The fact that that was happening to somebody else as well meant I could be, like, talk to somebody and relate to yeah. because no one else in my life would have been able to relate to that at that point but the fact that i had like one of my mates that i could be like man this is mad i got recognized i was like yeah i know bro me too <laughs> like that was the maddest thing that like we that i had this person that i could like share that I, th this experience with and i think that's for me i think it was i wouldn't have really had it any other way to be honest because it just made it like a nice it's experience and then, and then when we were doing when we did our first gig and we we're doing shows when loads of people were coming it was like it was really special to like to then, at the end of that, sit down and know that the the person opposite you is feeling exactly the fucking same as you are. Because I feel like if I'd gone through that by myself, then maybe it wouldn't yeah, have, yeah. I wouldn't have had that immediate feedback. So that was really nice. And then um, I think the second tune, the second tune that really popped was um, I think it was humble, and that was really nice. Oh, that's that such happened. A good tune. I yeah, that. yeah. I remember listening to that for the first time. But then, but then, money game after that meme became my biggest song. And no, oh, no, Jenny's tale as well. That did really well. And then after that, I feel like it's been Violet's Tale. And for me, for me, those three tales are probably like my proudest bits of work so far. Because I feel like that after I wrote Violet's Tale, I was like, oh shit, I know what sort of musician I want to be. Yeah, and it took me a while to figure that out. Been a good point. Yeah. Mm. An exciting time when that happens. Which I, I'll, never, I'll never forget. She, she came downstairs. And she said, she's she's, 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 whenever she finds somebody where she's like, Really, that she's really, really into. Yeah. She'll come down and she'll sit on the sofa and she'll be like, "Like, look at this." Yeah. Or she'll send me the video, and she came down and she showed me um, you and Sam down the road uh, outside the church. I think is it. Is it like? Yeah, yeah, Ship Street. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's the, obviously that's like the, the probably one of the most like iconic backgrounds of your busking journey oh oh you're the church one yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like cause you've done it we've done it so many yeah yeah after that it became the spot like we did a lot of that with the big push as well yeah and, and, uh, yeah, yeah she showed she showed me the video of you and she was like oh my god look how, look how good he is like and i was like and then that was it and it was the, it was the one which ep was it no, that it was, I loved? oh um the one you did in lockdown like, the demos volume one um it's got money game on it as well i think money game part two no, yeah part one yeah part one yeah, yeah. yeah. part one she showed me that EP, and I was literally like, the, the, you had a little sister was obsessed with it. Ah, oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Welcome. Great, uh, but that, that, that EP, I thought, was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's my favourite. Nice. Favorite. Yeah, man. No, that, that was that was good one to me. I'm like, I'm, I, still feel, I still feel like I haven't made, because I've always wanted to make like a fucking timeless album. I still feel like I'm not there. I feel like I'm only just getting started to be honest like you know when people are like oh da, 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 da. it's a weird one but because I, I what i've really and i guess this is the same for fucking every artist but i want to make an album that you could listen to in 10 years yeah, and, that's the goal, years. Isn't it? And, it, and it just Very stands the test of time i feel like i'm not there yet but i can't wait until i am because no, I, you're not, you're yeah not yeah I, I just i just that's 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 my dream and um yeah man um so hang on let, let's let's wait let's get another question then we'll do some more playing Alright, Ruby, what are your favourite musical genres we've got from the chat? At the minute, I'm really into like my um, old school blues stuff. Um, like Big Mama Thornton, I was just saying earlier, is one of my favourite blues artists. I really fucking love the Black Keys as well. The Black Keys are just sick. Every album is sick. Um, I've been listening to uh, like loads of old school French music as well. Okay. And like rock and roll French. There's this artist called Liz Brady, and uh -huh. she's got this tune called what's it called? Palladium. Palladium the Hip, I think it's called, and it's sick. Is, is it in French as well? Mm, yeah, some of it is, some of it's not. Uh -huh. And there's this other one called Seven AM. Have you heard of Salasu from France? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's dope, man. That's kind of reggae, soul sort of vibe. I love yeah. that stuff. I've listened to loads of that shit recently. Yeah. Um. So yeah, blues. I really love 
country as well. I've got a soft spot for country. Um, soul and jazz. All in together. All wrapped in one. My yeah, favorite. I can hear that in your voice. Yeah. I like can hear it in your playing. <laughs> I love yeah. it, I love it. It leaks out of you. <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna do another song while I while I have a, a cigarette break? Yeah. Yeah. Play the tune. Play the tune. I'm gonna do this one. Oh yeah. I can't 
a little bit now into yeah, it. Yeah, it's all we? chill, it's all chill. We're relaxing. Relaxing, Max now, relaxing out. Killing some people. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, oh, wait, oh, shit, I noticed that somebody tipped 20 quid. Are they still in the chat? Because I said that if anyone tips higher than a tenner, I'd draw a picture of their choice on the chat. <gasps> so, yeah, hang on. Who tipped that? Wait, it says that. Uh, I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a picture for you. Wait, where is it? That, it's, it's moving really slowly. I want to see what whose name it was. It was Sha Shakira. Sha Shaka Shakira, Shakira. Sha Why are you looking? Yeah, look, 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 look. What? Shaked fad. <laughs> Fatty. So, sorry, I'm definitely saying that wrong. But somebody uh, donated 20 quid. Tell me what you want me to draw on the wall, and I'll draw it, and it'll be Ooh. immortalized for eternity on the wall. Choose wisely. Actually, Ruby, while, while I'm waiting to hear what they want drawn, do you want to draw something? I think it would be lovely if you added a little bit of you to this. Yeah. You can just stay oh, forever. Oh, no, pressure. What should I draw? You can draw... I mean, look at my... It's not really pressure, mate. No, you look, 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 look what you're going up against. No, it's going to be cool. Uh, it, it, can be, it can be anything you want, man. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me get you a bit of chalk. Take it. Oh, draw? You can draw absolutely. You, you should keep the theme. No, no, the theme? It, honestly, I don't really know what the theme is, man. We've got Elon Musk over there. We've got a crab over there, and we've got a cursed Pikachu. Let me wait. Let me show you guys what we've got. Actually, what we're working with. There's there's cursed Pikachu. There's oh. an that's an existential crab. That's that's a cat that doesn't know why he's alive. And there's Elon Musk in the style of fear and loathing in, in the style of fear and loathing in Las Vegas. Um, yeah, Ruby, man, you can you can literally draw whatever you want, and nothing nothing is right and nothing is wrong. Should I do one of those shit old school things that everyone used to draw? What's that? Actually, you know, you know the thing, the S. Oh, what the yeah, <laughs> man, what the S, man? Yeah, get it on then, bro. How would you do it again? It's like one, two, three. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Wait, let me see. Yeah, you can see the S. Go on, fill it in a bit more. Yeah. Made, that, made, made them lines bigger. You never know them. Ma you don't know what the S is, bro. Yeah, um, it, no, was, it, it, was was it was over every... If you, if you were in school at any point, probably from like the mid-90s to like late fucking 2010, you probably... Yeah, man, it was over every like maths sketchbook or everything. Right, this, this guy wants a potato. So I'm going to draw a potato after that. Fine. Lovely. Oh, John, oh, you've got your name on there. Yes, Ruby. Okay, cool, cool. We're, we're adding to the wall, man. Right, hang on. Where's the, where's the chalk? I've got to draw a potato. Potato? Potatoes are pretty, pretty easy to draw, I think. With a face. Oh, I could have a face, yeah. He needs a face. And a name. He needs a name as well. It's just really an oblong, isn't it? Yeah. So this is... I'm going to do some shading as well. So I get a fucking... Come on. 
Your potato is on, look, there you are. Where is it? It's up there, it's, it's above that weird caterpillar thing. It's, it's, the, it's got a mouth, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's sort of a potato with a face. But that is for you, it's immortalised on the wall forever, for eternity, thanks for the tip. I think we should name it, it's a name. The potato is a name. It's got to begin with a P. All right, let me, let me do, well, let's, just, let's check out the chat, see what going, what's going on. Oh, so someone was doing the S back in the 90s, man. This, this has, this, it's, it's a timeless ass. Get to know. I think you missed out. Uh, yeah, how can you not know? You've never been to school in the 90s as well. Yeah, you oh, never went to well. class. 99, I like. Oh, no. You missed out on the ass. Yeah. Fucking hell. It's all out of the deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Fucking hell. What a shit choice. I didn't tell you. Once the potato okay, abs. Okay, I'm going to give the potato abs. abs. I think we should give him a name. Hi. Someone said hi. Hi, Rosie. Uh, yeah, it needs a name. It needs to begin with a P, though, I think. It's like something that reads shit, like Phil. Percy. Percy, Percy the potato. Paul. Yeah. Oh, it looks crap on the camera, but it's got a mini six pack in yeah, the text now. It does have one. It's Hench. <laughs> it was. Right, yeah, cool. There's your, there's your potato. I hope, I hope that was the best 20 quid you've ever spent in your life. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well Every time you watch this, that'll be there just to remind you that. Yeah. Yes, out. <laughs> can I explain the, the tails thing? What do you mean? Can I explain it? Bro, bro, tato. <laughs> Pedro. Someone said call him Pedro. Pablo. Pablo. Yeah. Pablo Potato Bar. Yeah, it's got to be that. The drug lord. I, I like. I thought I liked brotato, man. Yeah, brotato. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna obsessed. change it to brotato. Brotato. Oh, yeah. It's now brotato. Yeah. For eternity. That's really cool. Um, Let's give him muscles there. Yeah, we can. We can add. We can add some it. biceps to him later. Mm. Um, isn't Screech 14? Yes, yeah, Screech is. Look, there, there basically there were some subtleties in the lyrics to misdirect you from, from Jenny's age, because Jenny was wearing high heels, but like teenagers, teenage girls can wear high heels. Someone asked me this before. They were like, isn't Jenny, um, isn't Jenny much older? Because she was, she was walking home and she was in high heels. Well, all, all it says is that she was walking home alone and she was in high heels and she's walked that same street a thousand times. But um, intentional misdirection for you to not expect the end, basically. And, and then also as well, like, I, th I think to make the third story non-linear, everyone was expecting it to be um, Richard's Tale, which is the officer. And because everyone was expecting it, I thought it was too much of an obvious route to go down because Richard's Tale only ends one or two ways. He gets really depressed by the fact that he's killed this kid. And um, he either finds redemption or he kills himself. So it could either have gone one or two ways. So it had to tie up in a more Shakespearean sort of way, which is why... Um, like the changing timelines, basically. But yes. No, I think, to be honest, I mean, I never say never because I like, maybe in the future, but like, for me, I quite like the finality of it, how it's just left as it is, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's wrapped up in a pretty dark way, but it's, I think I think it just leaves everything else open to the interpretation. I think the only thing that I would do if I was to explore, I wouldn't probably wouldn't do Richard and I probably wouldn't do Patrick, because I feel like their stories just kind of tell themselves. But I I would probably do the gap in between where Screech from his birth to because we don't know how Screech and Jenny were separated at birth. We don't know the story of that. We don't know their life growing up that got them to the point that they did. So I think if I was to explore it, that would be it. But I think I'm just going to leave it alone. And just yeah. come up with some new characters, new invent some new, yeah, invent yeah. some new universes. Do it, I'm excited for that. Fan from Brazil. Hello, Hello Brazil. 
Hi Brazil, I want to come to Brazil. So let's let's carry on let's carry on with your story, Ruby. Alan, <laughs> what's squeaking right now? Is, is this? Squeaking Something's squeaking a little bit. Um, so yeah, so like, where where are you at now? What's your what's your ambitions and what? So so we we've, we've understood like what got you into music, what excited you about it, but what's um what does the future look like for Ruby J? Like what? Uh, this year's been pretty mad to be fair. Uh, it's pretty busy. I've done shitless gigs in Manchester. Like, I'm from Stafford, so if anyone doesn't know whether it is, it's the Midlands, so it's, it's really not that interesting. So I'm not going to give a story about it, because it's yeah. not interesting. Um, but I play a lot up north, and the, up north the music scene is buzzing at the moment. Like mm. Liverpool and Manchester is where it's at. Um, and I've done some really cool gigs. Um, I did a little tour with um, a guy called Andrew Cushion, and he's just signed to the Libertines label. Oh, um, and, yeah, and he was doing yeah. really well, and we did four shows, and they were all sold out. And it was like played Nottingham first time. It's nice in Nottingham, very posh. It's yeah. nice. Um, this small little venue, venue called the Bodega, and it was like. What, I was feel it, like Stranger? I feel like I've played. You may have. You may have. With the big push, it rings a bell. Yeah, it's Is there quite, another venue called the like Bodega? It's like a little box. I, oh yeah, I played there. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I played the bodega too. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it was a nice one. And then we played um, the Castle and Falcon in Birmingham, um, Arts Club in Liverpool, which is one of my favourite cities to play because yeah. the people are just like a different class. Um, yeah, they're fucking class, mate. Yes. <laughs> class lab. Um, and what, where did we finish it? It was finished in Liverpool, I'm missing one. What's the one? Sheffield. 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 Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. You know what? It's, it's weird because, like, North Wales, I feel like North Wales is more, like, up north because, like, I don't know if you've been to, like, Bangor or any of those areas in North Wales. I don't Wales. think so. Because they're closer to Manchester and Liverpool. Yeah. Like, everyone expects when I'm in Welsh to have, like, a proper fucking Welsh boy accent, but that's down south. And I feel like North Wales is closer to, like, North England in terms of culture and stuff like that. So whenever I go up, travel up north, I feel more at home because mm. there's, there's almost, like, a difference yeah, in the way of being. Yeah. Do you, do you get me? Do yeah, you, do you yeah. know the difference when you get over to, to yeah, south a little bit? It's, yeah, you can. When you go up north, there's some, you expect like a certain type of. People it's it's, it's proper friendly and it's a bit more yeah, raw. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit more like raw it, and a bit more like. Ones, like you know, but I quite like that. It's a bit more, bit more unfiltered. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love it. But, uh, that's why the crowds are great as well for mm, live music. That's it. Scotland's great. Mm, I've not played Scotland yeah. yet, and everyone says so, it's the best. best yeah, music. see, see, I, we did a gig in um, in Glasgow, and. Um, the Mate, the cra it was it was one of the smallest gigs of the tour that we did, and it was ju it just went off. Where did you play? Was it? I, I can't remember the name of the venue. It was, just, it, was, it, was it was it was only like I think it was like a three hundred cap venue. Uh, I can't remember. It's Glasgow two eighty cap Right. Yeah. But um, it was like the energy of just a small amount of people was yeah, banging. Like, everyone was like smacking the ceilings yeah, before yeah. we came yeah. out, and like that puts me in a proper good mood. So sometimes I prefer those little small, intimate oh, shows. Small, but. That's but they weren't afraid to have fun, do you know yeah. what I mean? They were dra jumping about like crazy, and that makes me feel all that crazy. Exactly. And then it's like, wow. oh, is that, is that I this? feel like this is me. Hang on, it's me. Yeah, it's definitely me. I am oh, me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, everything's going wrong. So it's technical. Did you get it? Got it. Got it. Yeah, you know what it is? It's when something's close to these speakers. It's cold. How can you balance this, though? Lovely. Wait, try that now. See if it feeds back. Try Hello. Again. Hello. That should have fixed it. One, two, three. Oh. Hello. What were you we saying? Um, yeah, Edinburgh gig. Yeah, the smaller venues, the best ones. I like them, you know. Yeah, that's and why I love for, it. For me as well, because you do a lot of busking, right? Mm. For me, there's something that I love about busking over, because I've done, like, we did a really big show in the Dome um, a few months back with a big push for our, like, send-off gig. And, um, but still, for me, there's something, and it's so exciting, it's electrifying being, being on the stage, and I, almost you, like, embody a different part of yourself, but mm. I feel like when you're busking out on the street, there's no real right or wrong, and you can jam a song for fucking ages, there's no real set list, yeah, you can do exactly. what you feel. Like. Right. And I quite like, because I started busking, that's how I started earning the money as a musician, um, there's something that I still love about it, and I think it's something I'll probably always do, even if my career was to like proper blow up. Yeah, I'd still would probably want to want to go busking. Yeah, really. um, yeah it's it's a lot different in busking in Stafford because people are um, in Brighton, everyone's like everyone fucking loves it and loves the tunes, but um, yeah. 
the very posh and clothes minded but some most of them love it but yeah. you get like loads of old people and you're like oh my god turn the music down oh really no, but no yeah but yeah. most of them love it and i love um like little kids when they walk past and they start jamming or yeah they start, like dancing that's the funniest thing and um, all when they just walk, walk and see you for the first time or they've never seen a guitar and you're like the first memory for that kid of yeah, music cool. ever that's pretty cool that's what i love about it as well you're like you're exposed to such a diverse exactly. range of people because if you go oh, to yeah. a gig you're gonna have a certain age bracket it's you're gonna have the sort of people who want to go to gigs but you're playing out on the street and like you you are at mercy of the whole world essentially or anyone who will walk past that street at that given point and i think that's something really wicked about that because you can have people stopping who are like in their 80s and 90s and equally you can have someone it was about five or six years old jumping about your tune, and I think yeah, there's something really nice really about cool. being able to like reach that mm. range of people. Yeah, man. Well, I'm just gonna see what the chat's saying. If you could have the superpowers of any two superheroes, villains, who would you choose? I'm gonna ask that to you, Ruby. That's such a hard question. I'm not even a big superhero person, so that's a bit of a... All right, just, all right, scrap that question. Any superpower, if you give it right, any superpower. Uh, invisibility, because... Oh, no, flying. <sighs> Flying's really cool. Get to wherever you want, yeah. whenever you want. Mm. That's pretty, pretty life-changing. Be pretty boss. But then being invisible is really cool because you just do what you want. Yeah, no I've thought about this one quite a lot. Or you could, like, know. fuck with people's heads and move shit, and then they'd come back and be like... Yeah. yeah. Paranormal activation. Yeah, so you'd essentially use it to fucking with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah that's, that's the most that's important the thing about any, any superpower, really. It's just yeah. can mess with people's heads. I thought about this one quite a lot. Oh, that phone's fallen down, by the way. Oh, it's fine. Don't know, is that all right? Oh, we're, we're, we're recording the stream anyway. Oh, okay. I thought about this quite a lot. I would have, but there would have to be certain changes to the laws of physics for it to work, but I would have the power to stop time, right? And when you stop time, you don't age. And then, um, because if you were to do that, yeah, say, say oh, you're out and night out, feeling a bit tired, stop time, take a nap. Or say you, you want to learn a song, yeah, stop time, ba bash it out, you learn the song, you come oh, back. Say you want to answer to a question, you're in a conversation, and someone asks you a question, stop time. I feel like you've thought about this. I have thought about it, yeah, and, and I, thought about it, I, I thought about it to the point where I was like, but if I stop time, I can't, I can't use the internet because everyone's frozen. So there would have to be some sort of bend, bending in the laws of physics and time where the electricity still works yeah, because it sure, wouldn't work. This is, right, this is not real. So I'm pretty sure in this universe... No, this is real. You, this is real? Yeah, yeah. When is this happening? It's going to happen. Can you let me know? Yeah. But, but th there will be certain, there'll be certain um, exceptions in the space-time continuum that would allow certain luxuries yeah, in this obviously. frozen time state to work for me to have a very happy time. But yeah, I wouldn't age, that would be the most important thing. Because I could literally freeze it for fucking five years, wrote the, write a masterpiece of an album, and then come back. Re resume, yeah. and I'd be like, oh yeah, I just thought of this actually this past five minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah, what do you think there. of this? Bash it out. And then everyone would be like, whoa. Fucking minute, that's my superpower. Yeah. Mine sounds shit though, compared to yours. Thanks um, for Someone's saying, can I talk a bit more about the split with the big push? This is, this is quite a big question uh, for this stream, but in a nutshell, um, there were a number of factors that made, made it happened, we were going through like a really difficult time with our management at the time and, and it was a very, very stressful situation. But um but that's all that's all sort of like behind us. And and, and then after that, basically like there was a lot going on at the time musically and we were pouring ourselves into the big push. And um I think it was just like differences of lifestyle choice because I've always been very much like fucking music is all I will do until I die. It's in my blood and I will do nothing else. And um when you've got like four people in the same band it's almost like a relationship. They all have to feel the same about something. And, and it wasn't so much of a driving force. It was consuming. Um, um, I'm not, I'm not, I won't, there's, there's no point in me like name dropping or anything like that. Cause it, cause there's nothing right or wrong with that either. I think, I think we're all so unique and individual that we have to be free to choose what we want to do in life. And um, it was a massive shame because like I, I pulled myself into that band and I fucking loved that band. But, but there, there was just like a little bit of a, um, I guess, I guess uh, like an imbalance in, in how much we were pouring ourselves into the music. And, um, and, and it just, it, it, at the end of the day, when you've got four people pushing for something, you kind of want that to feel like equally pushed to feel inspired and passionate enough to do it. And so um, it was kind of like a mutual decision to, to step away from that. And I still love all of those boys to bits because they're like my, some of my best friends and I've got some of my best memories with those boys. And um, yeah, yeah, I thought it was a real shame. I was really upset when it happened. And, um, but 
luckily like because having my own music to kind of like be like okay well now at least i can focus fully on this i can pour myself into this and um and this can be something that i just like just because music is all is all i will do and, and i know that for a fact it's all i want to do until a fucking day that i die and um yeah, that was, that's that's it in a nutshell. It's very it's it's reducing a very complex situation down to because it was a lot more complex than that, and um, there was no animosity and there was no wrong decisions made by anyone and there was nobody being a bastard. There was no fallings out or anything like that. There was no reason for the split. There was negative. It was just like you know, if in a relationship, sometimes you like you get to a point where you realise that going forward doesn't make sense, and it was I guess it was kind of like that basically. I don't know if I'd want to live forever. What about you? No, I, living forever never seems to... I feel like that'd be quite a lonely, lonely yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Because then your mm. friends are dead. And then yeah, you're still alive. Then you have to restart and regain new friends and yeah. stuff. No. I'll get um, them when I, when I need to go. Yeah. The, I got this hoodie from a company called Honor LDN. Uh, you just type in Honor and then LDN. Anyway, should we do, we should do some little... Some more music. And then, yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do another tune, man. Lay down, just get on down. 
got the big B. Oh, I've got one. It's quite high, though. Well, let's just try it. Whoa, 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 Black Betty, Bambalang. Get on, Black Betty, Bambalang. Black Betty had a child. Bambalang, a damn thing gone wild. Bambalang. Battery check button. Oh. Yeah. 
Smooth Jazz FM. Yeah, that's we what can we do. do. Uh, yeah. In a really smooth voice. It's really hard to do that. How do you do that? Uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, this is the ASMR um, uh, Twitch live stream. I'm going to be making the sound of eating a packet of uh, chili heatwave Doritos right now. If you put on headphones. Mm. Anyway, sorry. No. Nope. <laughs> no, I haven't. I, do you know, I've never covered a Ren song because the same thing you were saying earlier. I feel like... So, no, I haven't. Yeah, I did. I did Humble ages ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. I liked it. Um, but the main reason I don't is because I feel like some songs are just so good that you should just not even bother covering it and just leave it. No, I think you sound sick, you know. I think... You, I think I'm trying to think what would suit your voice. I think you'd sound sick doing... Um, I've been on the way for so long, and I don't know the way I'm, but in your own style. Because you know what I love yes, about I you is whenever, I hear, whenever I've whenever i heard a cover from you, it doesn't sound like no. the original in any way, I and like I love it. Do. Yeah, 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 so you like hear a... I know, that's why, yeah, I think it's wicked. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I, I, I did Humble ages ago in the... Banging? In the, in the, was the lockdown? I feel like it, it might have been in the lockdown. Ben, you, ben shit. No, you even share. We can't even we remember are. that that happened. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't remember much from lockdown. No, no, it's a big blur it was for a me. blur. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. Man's World, someone said play Man's World. That's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we could do Man's World. Mm. Man's World, Man's World goes well, to the mouth. The mouth sounds, yeah. We don't need any more of it. ASMR. We need the brick and the cucumber. Oh, shit. Someone else has donated. Retro Blade. Uh, what do you want on the wall, my brother? My name. Retro Blade. Oh no, Retro Beer. Sorry, Retro Beer. Ah. Just draw an old, the oldest beer ever. The oldest beer? Yeah, Retro. Draw a can of Duff. <sighs> Duff. Watch That's out. That's a good shout. That is a good shout. Um, well, we're waiting for the answer. So yeah, we're waiting for Retro. That's a good question. What's the one song that's too good to be covered? Mm. <sighs> oh, you put me in the spot really now. Song. Yeah, no one touches Freddie. Bohemian Rhapsody just stopped. There are there are some. I think there are some <laughs> Queen songs that are more approachable, but I think I think nice. there's there's some that are very unapproachable. Yeah. Yeah. I d I did hear someone cover um, Bohemian Rhapsody actually really really fucking well on YouTube. I've right? never seen anyone do it really good. I'll it was really it. good. Actually, it was really good. But you saw what? A young girl do it. Oh, did you? It's good. Yeah. She was actually on one of those. Yeah. I think it was an American one. Mm. And she was absolutely insanely good. Wow. She was like literally. It's, it's a difficult song. Much, but you know, you know, I think what, what was the most. Like, the reason I feel like it can't be recreated is because you're talking about a guy who is face to face with the fact that he's about to die. 
Yeah, that's. And he's and he's got this, and he's singing, he's singing his fucking, he's mm. singing his legacy, and like, how can you capture that yeah, feeling? You can't in the cover? recreate it. You know what I mean? No. And and also, even if you were in the sim, in the same position, they're not your words. So he's singing, he's singing that with his words, with his melodies that it written, and that's why I feel, that's why I think it's an untouchable tune. Like yeah. someone could technically probably sing I it as bad, yeah. but it's just not going to cut through, is it? Yeah, you've got like. Sam Ryder, he's got one hell of a voice, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I think mm. Zeppelin should never be tried to. Though, we did actually do a Zeppelin tune. We did do a Zeppelin tune, yeah, yeah. it was actually pretty good. Um, but I know I've never actually seen anyone do a Zeppelin cover and it be... Except from us. So that's OK. Well, um, what's his name? Is it fucking um, Plant? Plant was a very fucking special vocalist. Anyway. What, who else? Rui Oh, OK. A retro Blade said... Or no, Retro B, I said Ruby could decide what to draw. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. You've got to draw it. What's up? Yeah. All right, Ruby, you're up. You're up onto the wall. The chalk's back. The back in the hands. Uh, I'm not drawing it. You're drawing it. <laughs> I'm not the artist nah, bro. that you've discovered already. I'm not the artist. That ice is banging. Room. You've got... Can you draw? What? He's very stern. Um, can you draw? <laughs> what about yeah, the Yazzie okay. bottle? What, what, what about the Yazzie, just to remember that we were here? The Yazzie bottle. Or your duff beer, because you I seem really passionate that. about that. You're closest to the chalkboard, so that actually makes what more I'll do sense. It'll be a work in progress. All right, Ruby's, yeah. Ruby's nominated Carl to draw. I'll get a picture of it up and I'll try. Yeah, so it's we're going gonna, to we're, we're have a masterpiece in progress so during the stream. How, much, how, how do you two match? Oh, okay, how did we meet the first time? Social media. Yeah, so Three. just basically the internet, man. Connecting people. The internet. And the kin I wish it was a more exciting story, yeah, it's really but nice. it, it was it was the internet. But yeah, no, I thought Ruby was wicked, man. Like it's yeah. it's it's quite rare for me that like I like because I get a lot of messages from musicians and people um, that, that hit me up and um, like I remember just being like, fuck, this girl's got something. Like it's, it's a rare ha it's happened to rare times in my life where I like find someone go, shut. This person is fucking underappreciated and they're wicked and I think that they've got a big bright future and Ruby's definitely yeah, one of those I people, like man. <laughs> 100% man. Yeah, I was, I think a, she's got I was a very big special. fan, big fan before. So, yeah. and I was like, my dad, I wrote this tune, and my dad was like, oh, and it's a red. And I was like, no, <laughs> never. And, really? I was, and like, then no, he no, sent no. it. Yeah. We were on our way sent to Birmingham for Yeah, skin. sent it on the slide. And I got a phone and I went, oh. And yeah, I was really, I was actually really angry and sad because <laughs> I was like, he's going to hate it. And he's seen it and he, no. and he replied and I was like, yeah, it's banging. We were freaking out. Um, yeah. yeah, and then it just, now we're here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the story. Shaman, Shaman on Twitch. Asked a, a question before they said, seeing as you two are together, does this mean a Ruby and Ren collab we can now expect? And that's the end of that. Uh... Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's that's the, to be honest, that's the reason we're here. We yeah. thought we, we, we thought we'd uh, kill two birds with one stone on Twitch, but we're gonna we're gonna try and do a song. We might, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that we should stream tomorrow? Because we could stream tomorrow a little bit. Because we're gonna meet up in a day, and we're gonna try and write a tune together. I'm gonna be big. We're gonna see what ha we, so happens. But if you guys like this stream, then we're happy to do it again tomorrow evening. Yeah, be fun. Just I let me know. This is really fun. It, if chat, if you can let me know if you want more of this, then we'll do we'll do a little bit more of this. We could even do like the songwriting process. Oh, that perform the song live. Do you guys like Arctic Monkeys? We did discuss that, and we do. Yeah. yeah, all right. Well, people people seem to be well up for yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, lots of yays. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're up for it. If you guys are up for it, I mean, yeah, because, I mean, the more I do this, the more comfortable I get. This is our first stream. And, like, so far, I think it's going so quite yeah, well, it's actually. Fun. This is like, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised how, like, comfortable, because I, I, I was... I was Expecting to feel a little bit awkward for the first time, but man, obviously I'm in fucking great company with all these guys here, so I'm feeling yeah, I'm feeling comfy, man. Love it. So I hope that you guys have been satisfactorily Satisfied. entertained. Yeah, songwriting process would be sick. Oh, they want to see it. That'd yeah, cool. cool. And I can do I can do this as well. Hang on, look at look at this. Oh yeah, look at this magic. I, I can um. So what I what I'll do is I can do I can change. It. So if, that, if that's something that interests you guys, like a bit more of a technolo uh, technology process with it, then let me know, man, and I'll do that. Um, because I think, yeah, it'll be educational. Um, educational. 
I think it's quite interesting. interesting. I think it'd be a really cool insight for people to see how how it how it how it happens. And oh. the creative side of it as well. Oh, you know what? When I change, thanks for letting me know. When I change to screen capture, I haven't got the mic set up, so all, everything that I just said you missed. <laughs> uh, basically, what I said is like I can um. I'll set all this up. Look, there was going to be technical difficulties. It's the first stream. But basically, like, I was saying that if tomorrow we, we record a little bit, I can show you my, like, recording process, like the plugins that I use. If that'll be, like, useful for anyone, if anyone's producers. If not... I watched um, Disclosure. Do you like, you know, Disclosure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like a live stream? I think they were doing them in lockdown. And they did, like... They went back to their Max and like um, when they first released their, oh, I can't remember what the album was called. It was the first album they released and they were like, I think they were like 17, so that's cool. Yeah. And they released it and they did like this live stream when they opened up Logic and from when it was first recorded and it was really sick. Yeah, that's so, like, bad. See, I think that'll be really layer. cool, you know, because yeah. what I think will be cool is like, imagine like making a song from absolute scratch on here mm. and then everyone who's watched that process it's almost like, they kind of feel like it's you were there. part of the process, <laughs> man. I think it'd be quite a cool thing to do. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, cool, man. Um, oh, we, have we had another tip? Hang on. What's going on? Carl, Carl's working on his masterpiece right now. Oh, it's still going. Of course it's it is, right. It's looking good. Can I see? Well, I thought I'd do it in the hand as well. It's looking pretty sweet, Carl. Yeah. Danny, you're going to have to do one soon. Yeah. Ruby, <laughs> yeah, the chat says you are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So are you, and I don't even know what you look like, but I just know. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, man. If you donate, uh, you get a, you get your picture immortalised on this wall. And look, there's a lot of there's a lot of real estate here as well. So like, we're, by the end of like, by the, before I move to Canada, I want all of this filled up with your drawing ideas, basically. So yeah, man. We're gonna cover this. We're gonna cover this bitch. And yeah, cool, man. Yeah, if, yeah. If you guys think the production streams will help, I'm definitely down for doing that. I was thinking about doing that anyway. And then I was thinking, um, what might be quite cool is like if you guys suggest songs on YouTube or whatever to react to, like new video. Because I always love discovering new music, and then we can just like screen share it. That'll be quite cool. Cool. Yeah. Should we? Should we do? Um. Do you want to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because this is like quite a, I, I want these these streams to be also be quite collaborative and I want to give Ruby a little bit of a stage here. And also guys, what I would, what I would love is if you guys, we're gonna post it in the comments in a little bit, but what I would love is if you guys go and follow Ruby on all her social medias, give her a lot of support, because she's fucking, you know, Do yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and um, help, let, let's fucking how lift this girl up because she fucking Ruby deserves official. she fucking deserves it. Oh, um, and this is this is yeah, so this is Ruby J. And what is it? I'll, I'll type it now on the As, chat. Uh, all the socials are just Ruby J official. That's it. Pretty oh. easy. The letter J. I don't even know how you wait, I don't know. Do you know? Nobody I don't knows. Know you type on stream now, can you? <gasps> can you not type in the chat yourself? That's a bit rude, it's your own stream. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I actually think you can type. Oh. I don't know. What's I don't know. Huge? What's that? Is that a thing? No. no. Oh. Well, remember it. I don't, I don't know how to type in my own chat. But anyway, so what is it? Ruby J. Ruby J official. Ruby J official. R U B Y J official. Spelt official. That's it. Go, go and find her right now. Take out your phone and find her on your social medias. Thank you. I've done it. You've done it. What have we got, man? Yes, mate. Well, no, it was. It was. Well, it wasn't retro beer. It's, it's close we, enough. Yeah, it's good. Hang on, we need to get the camera closer. Can you see that? It's a. Explain it. Explain it. Explain your mushroom beer. Uh, so we did duck beer. Yeah. yeah. Um, I copied it off a picture of Google. Nice. <laughs> very, very poorly. Realistic. Yeah. But I had a go because that's all that matters is trying, trying that, that, that matters. Yeah, it's true, man. Wow. There you go. It's great. I think it's great. Better than my shit. You got yourself a can of Duff beer on the wall, my brother. You're on the wall. My sister. Yes. All right. Let's let's do some. Let's do a tune. We're um, we're we're coming up. I think we're coming near to. I don't know. 
nine o'clock, man. This, Ten to nine. I, I thought, it's flown by, to be honest, man. I was, I was thinking, like, oh, two hours, what are we going to do? Fucking what, we're going to chat about for two hours. Before we leave, actually, Carl, I'd quite like to chat to you as well. So let's do another tune, because I think we can fill up. I mean, even, oh. even if we go over the clock, it's fine. If you guys are still enjoying it, I'm, I'm having a great time, so we can it's fucking carry on. Thank you. 
I feel like I feel like we're we're like relaxing into it. Yeah, it's all groovy. Yeah, man. All right, well, let's do some more, a little bit of chat and then maybe one more song and then and then we'll we'll call it a stream. But yeah, man, thank guys. We've we've done two hours. For me, it feels like it's kind of flown by. Yeah, it's flown by. And if if you guys have been watching the whole time, then big up yourselves. And um, yeah, I've been pl- I'm planning to do a lot more of these. So if you guys enjoyed it, I'll put out a schedule at some point on 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 Twitch. I don't exactly know what that looks like yet, but. I'll plan it all out, but I'm sure that we'll probably do some more of this tomorrow if you guys are around. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, they like it as well. They're loving it, man. They, they, it. We're getting some good feedback, yeah. <laughs> Clip a nipple, aren't they? Good to be clear. Are we... Are we catching? What was I saying? Hmm? Are we catching? We ca- mm-hmm. Yeah, man, we're catching. Yeah, we are. Why not? Sure. Um, are we recording lives? Yeah, we'll, we'll record the lives. We'll, we'll take like little snippets out of it. Um, I'm sure we'll post little bits all over the place. I know. Um, I know that. It'll be, ni- it'll be nice to have like a little, um, a little, uh, yeah, just like a little memento, isn't it? Memento. Yeah, man. Um, do you guys have any? Um, um, what are you, oh, are we catching it tomorrow? Yeah, man. We're, we're thinking about doing tomorrow. 100. percent I'll keep you guys posted on all the social medias. But yeah, most most likely, most likely. What did you learn from the voice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's delve into that. Um, yeah, I was on, I was on the uh, the Voice a couple of years ago, and I was on Team Belinda Faith, which was really cool because she's 
um, unreal, and she is one of my favourite artists. Um, when I was younger, so it's pretty cool to meet her and um, be on a team. She's really lovely as well in real life, so I learnt that. She's actually really nice, so do meet your heroes. Um, some of them are nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing is with TV shows, they're all a bit scripted and stuff, and a lot of stuff got cut out, and you know. Um, but that's TV, that's showbiz, baby. Um, but no, it was really fun. I met some cool people and I had a good time. Um, yeah, it was really nice and it was lovely to meet Paloma and I actually sung with her for a bit around the piano, which was pretty cool. One of them moments where you're just like, well, it was a bit like when I met you and we sang together and my brain was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, you gotta keep it cool. But no, it was, it was fun. It was very tiring because it's TV, like you're filming stuff. 24 hours um but yeah no it was fun and at the time it was a good idea uh, i wouldn't do it again because i know what it's really like but no it, it was fun overall i'm gonna label it as a good experience yeah yeah wicked wicked uh, do you have any like do you have any like take homes from that would you would like now you're older looking back at it would you would you do anything differently or would you or would yeah you... um i would have push to be able to sing with my guitar because they wouldn't let me do that which okay. was really I and mean, it was the first time i kind of did it without my guitar because i was right. so used to being and that was you know, your that was your comfort zone yeah that was i was definitely pushing me outside of my comfort zone and to do it for the first time on national tv as well which is even more yeah. harder and wait how old were you then as well because you to that yeah yeah, yeah. I was 14. And I suppose in those settings when they're saying do this, do this, you're you're less likely to stick to your guns yeah, and you're, you're more likely you to do what? Yeah. Yeah. Please, people. Um, but no, well, overall, it was pretty fun. Um, I'm glad I didn't win it or anything because I know shit gets a lot more complicated with mm. um, the show if you do win it because there's stuff and stuff to be signed. Mm. But no, it was it was good for me at the time and I did have fun. Oh, thanks for that. Thank you. Yeah, no. Um, are they one? Uh, yeah, we can we can do the man's world for the last one. That's a, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, man. Should we put John Lewis on the other? You can play it. I'm sick of playing the guitar. Well, let, let, let's both play it. I'll teach you the chords. Okay. Yeah. Um, why have we got not got guitar? <laughs> So we're just we're just going from um, uh, C sharp minor to F sharp minor. Minor. No, 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 no. We, no, we can do this. Uh, C C sharp minor and then just F sharp minor. Oh, so, 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 so this this bar chord. This one? Oh. Yeah, minor. Yeah, you got it. It's just literally them two chords. Yeah. Come on. Let's get it poppin'. Let's get it poppin' in here, y'all.
ways I'm gonna put on the lion shirt Chase the step of loud world I'm gonna put on the lion shirt Chase the step of loud world I take your brain to another dimension I take your brain to another dimension I take your brain to another dimension Pay close attention I take your Close attention now. Space. Find another race. I'm gonna put on an iron shirt and chase the devil out of the way. I'm gonna send him to outer space to find another race. I'm gonna put on an iron shirt and I'm gonna check the man, the chicken, the but that put the work. Uh, uh, ready or not, here yeah, I come. I you can And all this time for me It's nothing because I'm kind of age And I shouldn't be scared Man, it shouldn't be dead I am well, I'm prepared And I'm on the beach now It's intangible I bet you didn't think So I command you to Pan around with you Yes, I'm making this old manageable Chicks and dudes who you think Is really kicking chins Picture you sitting loose With the pit of choose Lifeless For the definition of what life is The high pit For the definition of what life is The high ever high it high ever high it high ever high Push the tempo, push the tempo, what push the tempo? Push the tempo, what push the tempo? What you with the with the fat boy slim on him? What you with the with the fat boy slim come on? What you with the with the what you with the with the what you with the with the with the with the I'm consenting to other space to find another race. I'm gonna put on an iron shirt, chase the devil out of the way. I'm gonna Something I wanna Yeah. 
It seems I'm not alone in being alone. One hundred billion castaways looking for their home. Sending out an SOS. Sending out my SOS. Sending out my SOS. I do you, honey?
50 songs for you? Yeah. <laughs> 50 in one. That's <laughs> what we do. Come on. Um, oh. Let me turn the guitar. What time are we? It's we're, um, nine. we're, we're half nine. nine. Um. Someone said, hey, Ruby's dad. <laughs> he said, hey. He said, hey, look. Do you want to chat for a bit, Carl? Yeah, take the mic. Does this come on? Come on, come on. Let's, let's. Do you want to sit? I think we might as well run till 10, because we're half, we're like, nearly yeah, half we as well. Yeah, yeah. If you guys are so, if you if you're bored, by the way, then let me know. Say, Ren, you're boring. But if you're entertained, then we'll carry on. Yeah, you go. Um, yeah, man. Um, so because I think it's, it's nice to just like break it up with chatting and and music and until I figure out what the fuck I'm doing on Twitch, basically, and and what um how how what sort of what sort of uh, streams I want to make. Um, I remember um, the reason I wanted to talk to you, Kai. Do you want to? I remember, like, I was—I remember being quite touched, man, when um, I was chatting to you and Ruby outside the gig when I came watch Ruby, which was absolutely savage, by the way. That was so good. That was so good. And um, uh, I remember it being—you were—you were talking about how, how. Um, I think what really struck me was like, uh, cause, cause I, I, you know, I came from a bit of a background uh, when my dad buggered off when I was little and, and, and I, th I was really like emotionally moved by how much you were there for Ruby and supporting her and how much you were there um, as a driving force behind what she's doing as well, which I thought was really wicked. It seemed like, um, I feel like, coming from me, I feel like you're a proper lucky man. Yeah. I do, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like you're really lucky, but it would just be interesting to get your perspective, of Carl, and like, um, like why, and even because I know there'll probably be some older people watching there as well, or just young people who plan to have kids and I'm wondering what sort of mum or what some sort of dad they want to be. And I'm, I, I honestly think you're quite a good role model, man, and I, I quite like to think, bit. yeah, man, and I quite like to oh, hear yeah. your perspective. Well, you know, you know, I'd quite yeah, like to hear your, um, your take on it all. I, uh, I just didn't, when, when I grew up, I, 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 was, I, was, I, met, I was stupid, messing around all the time, doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing, acting like a dickhead. And I just wanted to give Ruby a focus as opposed to go and do what you want, go and knock around on the streets with your mate. I'm lucky, yeah. I'm a lucky as a dad because I've never had that worry of her going out on the streets, messing around with her friends, drinking. Ne I've, I've never had that issue because she doesn't do it. Mm because she's got a focus and she's got something to do. But again, saying that, having a focus is no good if you've not got the talent to go with it as well. And I mean, you, obviously like people have, have heard how good Ruby is. Whether she's your cup of tea or not, you can't deny, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique voice, it's a different mm. voice. It's not something that you're gonna hear every day. You know, that much soul inside somebody so young. And it's like, you know, she's 17 years old. She she picked up a guitar three years ago, and it was like, how can I not support that? She's she's too good for me not to support. 
yeah. and and give it a hundred percent. And I'm one of those people. I'm I'm I'm, I'm obsessive. So if if I get my teeth into something and I think, I believe that Ruby can go as far as she wants with this. I genuinely can. I, I, I know she can. It's up to her. And she makes her own luck by working harder than the person that's next to her. Outgrind everyone. If you've, got, if, you, if you're talented and you're going to outgrind the person at the side of you, you are going to win hands down every single time. Mm. And that's what I just keep encouraging her to do, to be honest with you. I keep driving around the fucking country all the time. Spending all your money. 35,000 miles in yeah, all right, 10 months. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. We've done. But it's worth it's worth it. It's, yeah. worth it. it's worth it. It's worth it's worth every moment. And we have a laugh. Yeah, it's and we get to do stuff that, like that dads and daughters don't get to do. Like we get to travel around the country, watching bands, singing in you know, sick venues, meeting other really talented people, making tunes. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, cool. it's an alright life, isn't it? It's yeah. an alright life, isn't it? It's hard and yeah. sacrifice. Of course it is. A wife at home with yeah. a six-year-old that I don't see anywhere near as much as I want to see. I think I think a lot of people, when they when they see someone who's blown up, or or when they see someone who's done really well at music, they don't understand the amount of because oh. for years and years you have to put up with good luck and, and they don't see and it is literally years. It's very difficult to get your foot in the door and actually establish a career as a musician and make it actually worthwhile. If anyone can imagine getting up at seven o'clock in the morning in the winter and going standing outside for six hours and you can't feel your hands mm. but you've got to go out and make some money because you've got a gig at the weekend and it's in Manchester and you're supporting a good band and it's going to cost 60 quid on the train and obviously how do I how, how does she get the mm. 15 16 17 she's not going to go on her own you know so I've got to take her so how do I take her we have to work together. Yeah. And it's like we found a way of working the stuff together with the music where we can make enough money to live. Not not well, but we can get by and fund doing what she's doing. Yeah, of and course. It, and it is like literally, get, like I did my own business for 10 years. Mm. I sold it because I was doing 60 hours doing that and 40 hours with her. So I thought I'd rather do 60 hours with her and have 40 hours at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Across yeah. the course of a week. Yeah. And I just think that if anyone's going to have kids and they, and, and you're going to, and, and they want to do something, why the fuck not support them? Who's, who, who, who are you? Even as their parent, who are you to tell them they can't do that? Yeah, yeah. Not big up, man. No, it's, 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 it's inspiring. I think it's, yeah, no, it is inspiring, man. And um, yeah, no, it's, it's, not, it's nice to see, like, I, I think, um, like, seeing... I think I think in this life, I think particularly like when it comes to something, where there are no guarantees because music's well, it's again that's why you've got to be so passionate because there's there's n there's never a guarantee. So what you're doing is always based on your own faith and your own self belief or your own passion for the music or, or, or for what you're doing or just that self expression. And sometimes it can be full of quite a lot of self doubt. I think and sometimes it can be. So I, I think that um, yeah, man. I think I think it um, it's really cool. I think it's really cool being like. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, big up. Honestly, I, th I think it's really, really cool having somebody there as to encourage you when you're when you're feeling low, yeah, Ruby. To be like, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, fucking get going, you, man. If, if you don't back your child, how can they ever be anything different or anything out of the ordinary? Why do you want an ordinary child? You everyone wants a special child, don't you? <laughs> you don't want a special child. My child's so special. Let them be special. Yeah, yeah. Just nurture, no, nurture what they love. Yeah. Yeah, no, you that's don't cool, even man. have to do anything, you just got to take them there. Yeah. And go, there you go. <coughs> and then you can get as involved as you want to get involved. Yeah, you know, yeah. If you want to sit there and read the paper, or you want yeah. to be stood at the side. I know, man, I, th I think it may seem like a little thing to you, but I think it's quite a big thing. Um, I, th I think, yeah, you need to give yourself more credit, because I think that's, um, yeah, it's beautiful, man. Like, I, th I think support it, support it, and I think big up yourself, man. And chat as well, big up Carl, man. Big up, big up, big up. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think fucking, yeah, we all need a Carl in our life. Yeah. I love you. Call Jay. Call Jay. Yeah, man. <laughs> What's... I can't... You know what this... Oh, so we got 104... Okay, we got 104 viewers online and man, we're live, yeah. Nice, man. I need to I need to figure out this thing more. All right, so wait, someone... Quim, Quims. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you for the donation, Quims. If you're still in the chat right now, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Yeah, man, I'm getting a lot of love in the chat. Getting a lot of love in the chat. Yeah, feeling the love. Come on. Um, yeah, so I, I think I think um, maybe that, that kind of almost feels like a nice wholesome ending. Actually, it kind of feels like we, we've reached we've reached the. Yeah, I think guys, I think I think we're gonna call it a day. We'll probably stream tomorrow, but um. Right. <laughs> then that is definitely a, that's a definitely good time to yeah. call it a day. <laughs> guys, I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who's joined us today. Yeah, it's been um, fun. Yeah, we we proper appreciate it. And it means a lot. And um, this is our first ever stream from this room. Planning to do many, many more. Um, it. it felt a lot more comfortable than I thought it would. And uh, it was obviously, fun. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was wicked, man. Thought it flew by. And um, I can't wait to do more of them. I think the more and more um, I'll understand all this screen technology that I'm staring at. It's and we can, confusing my brain. We can it's try like and streamline the process a little bit. Um, yeah, but guys, if you like what you saw, like I said before, it's Ruby J um, official. official. Go Thanks give, for having me. It was fun. Oh, my pleasure. Well, my pleasure, Ruby. Yeah, yeah. Go and give Ruby a follow um, on, on all the social media. If you're not following mine, there's a link that pops up in the chat every now and then. Go and follow that. If you want to subscribe, if you've got Amazon Prime, by the way, you could subscribe to the channel for free um, through Prime. So do that as well. If, and then you can catch up on the updates and stuff. You don't get adverts ever if you subscribe. So if you've got Prime, go and subscribe there. Um, I'll be doing this a lot more regularly. I hope you guys interjoined, in, interjoined? interjoined yourself. Um, I'm planning on getting a lot of different people in week per week. And yeah, we're just going to have a good time with it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for making this a fun first Twitch stream, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thanks for that, it was fun. No, honestly, honestly, that was fantastic.